How you doing, Your Honor? Good morning, sir. I'm so happy you're concerned about how I'm doing. Hey. I can just see it all now. Depending on how much money you have in your pocket. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Mm -mm. You came to court today knowing you have a fine and you didn't take any money with you? No, sir. Oh. You didn't go to the bank and take money out of your bank account? No bank account. You don't? Oh. I put all my money up under, the, up under the bed. Who do you live with? My girl. Oh. Did she give you some money this morning? Nah, she wants money. She takes money from me. Does she work? I pay her. Oh, you're supporting her. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, coming from your residence, there was loud music. Yes, sir. I've been there 15 years, though. Uh, no hold problem. On hold on for a minute. Right. Hold on for a minute. Police could hear the music from outside, and they issue, uh, issued you a $200 fine. So what do you want to tell me about this? Well, I've been there 15 years, no problem. We've got new neighbors that, that moved in, and they called the cops on me. They could have knocked on the door. I would have turned the music down. Yeah. Was it a radio, or was it a... Oh, it was a radio. Radio. You have the amplifiers? Yeah, yes, sir. You have amplifiers? Yeah. What time of day was it? Uh, I think it was about... 11 o'clock. At night? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mr. Crawford, I have a summons before me that indicates that on April 27th that there was loud music coming from your residence. It does not state the time, so the summons is incomplete. <clears throat> My philosophy is that everyone should be entitled to the full benefit of the law, whether or not they're an experienced attorney or not. So if you came here with an attorney today, an attorney would make a motion to dismiss because the summons is incomplete. Now, you don't know that because you're not a, a lawyer, mm -hmm. but there's no reason why you shouldn't have the benefit of having the law enforced on your behalf. But I know that, and it would be immoral if I find you when the summons is incomplete. So I'm going to dismiss it. Thank you, Your Honor. With the promise from you that keep the music down, right? Okay. What were you doing? Were you dancing with your girlfriend? What was going on? Yeah, I had a little disco ball in my house, and, you know, I just turned the music up, and I didn't realize. Let me see your best move. Let me see your best move. Give me the Grape Street slide. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I noticed you were, were in some distress back there, so we're going to take you first, okay? Thank you. Are you feeling all right? No. I'm scared. Something, something we can help you with? Um, no, it's about this warrant. Oh, don't worry about this. I have this. You're charged of use of tobacco in the park. The city council has just had they passed an ordinance, right, making smoking illegal in certain sections of the downtown area, and you were charged with violating that. Correct, and I am not gonna lie, I did have a cigarette in my hand, but it was poked out. And I think because I gave the officer, and you know, I was rude to him, I think that's why I got the ticket. You can't get a ticket just for having a cigarette in your hand. Like, they're just getting ridiculous. They're using it to search you, and, it's just going so far, and I didn't even know you, you can't have a cigarette in your hand even if it's not lit. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm homeless. Like, I'm having a hard time. You have any children? I just had a son, remember? I was pregnant last time I was here. Mm, I don't remember that, but. Yeah, I, I have, he's three months old. What's his name? Isaac. Isaac. <clears throat> I think I told you you'd name him Francesco, didn't I you do that? You did. <laughs> oh. Didn't work to, out. That's strike two in my book, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> well, Isaac is a wonderful name. Thank you. I got it from the Bible. Isaac is three months? He's three months old? Yes. Almost yeah. three months. Yeah. I know the last time you were before me, you were pregnant. I know you had some issues that you were dealing with, mm -hmm. and I know I wish you well. Thank you. I hope you're coping pretty well with those issues. You know? Trying. Hang in there. We're rooting for you. Thank you. The fine for uh, 
smoking in the Burnside Park under the ordinance is fifty dollars. I think in your situation, I'm familiar with the background. You just had the baby. You've had some other issues. I think the money would be better spent on Isaac. Thank you so, so much. So I'm going to give you a break on this one. Thank you very much, Your and, Honor. And good luck with the other situation that's going on with you. Thank you. Good luck. Have a good day, Your Honor. Macchiotti, you were charged with going through a stop sign on Carpenter and Knight Streets. Yes. You do not have a good driving record. You used your good driving record before the traffic tribunal last year. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to tell me about this? I don't think it was right because, you know, if I wouldn't see him, why I, like if I see him, why I want to keep going? But, you know, I don't want to keep going with this. You don't want to come back and have a trial? So you say, listen, I was coming down the street, I saw the police officer, right? I saw that he was sitting there, why would I go through the stop sign? Is that your assertion? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, he come to me, can, he actually- yeah, He said to you, why? Listen, let me explain to you. He said to you, didn't you see me? Exactly. Right? Mm hmm Well, why did he say that? Because supposedly him, I didn't see him. No, if you stopped at the stop sign and went through, he wouldn't stop you. So what he said to you was, didn't you see me? Indicating that you went through the sign, didn't you see me there? Why didn't you, his question is, why didn't you stop? But I stopped, and when I noticed I that he was behind me. All right, I, you know, I understand. I like, what did I do, like? I understand. You wanna come back and have a trial, or you pay $85? What do you wanna do? I just pay it, because I'm not All right, it's $85. This. All rise, and hit subscribe, so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.